<laughs> you are smiling at me. <laughs> I like how you're looking at me. <laughs> you're just there gazing at me. Like the one who's doing prophetic gazing. They're looking up to heaven because your salvation is drawing nigh. <laughs> I feel really shy because you're looking at me nicely. <laughs> and things are falling apart in the yeah. kitchen. There. Who's knocking things down? Yeah. Is it the cat? <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go on. Okay. Yeah. Talk to me, baby. <laughs> okay. Um, honey, where can relations training for relationships, marriage, and family be found mm -hmm. in a continuous base? Because you find school educates you, and there's college, there's mm -hmm. primary, high school, college, and even you can further keep mm -hmm. studying. Mm -hmm. But where do you learn about relationships, marriage, and mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and all the questions that surround you. Oh, here. <laughs> <laughs> you learn about them here, baby. <laughs> that's what we teach. That's yeah. one of the things God called us to do. Yeah. To teach people about how to start a relationship, how to build it up, how to enrich it, how to make it the very best. So if you're looking to learn about marriage, about relationships, about family, mm. about finances, about growth and development, this is the place to be. Mm. Yeah. This is a place to be. You go to Apostle Joseph Hell on social media platforms and you find a lot of material. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But now I'm I'm saying that on a light note. Yeah. But now you learn about relationships, marriage, family from the word of God, uh -huh. from the Bible. There's no better book. I've read so many books. And you've read them too. Yeah. The Bible is the best book because it explains everything. Mm. The Bible explains the different types of love, if yeah. you remember. Yes. The way we've taught them, yeah. beginning with Ahab, mm. which is the sacrificial love, mm. same as Agape. Agape. Yes. And then there's Khashak, mm -hmm. which is infatuation or a crash, yeah. which is fine. It's mm. good for starting a relationship, but yeah. it cannot be strong enough to be foundational. Mm. And then, of course, you have uh, Philandros, yes. which is found in Titus 2 verse 4, how a woman loves the husband. Mm with her physical body. That's why you girls do makeup and if it's so nice, you do your hair. Mm -hmm. See, it's a physical kind of attraction mm -hmm. where you excite the man by ravishing him with your body and your beauty. Yeah. And then after that, we have philotechnon, yeah. which is the love of children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Both the father and the mother should learn to love mm -hmm. their children. Yeah. Then we have Philadelphia, which is love we have for each other in the okay. church. Yeah. So the Bible says that we treat the older women as our mothers mm. and the younger women as our sisters, yeah. you see. And the ones that are our age mates we treat as our siblings, mm. you see. So that is brotherly love or yes. Philadelphia. Yeah. yeah? Mm. So um, you realize that Philadelphia can become romantic mm. if you bring in hasha, if you bring in the attraction. Uh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. It can become sexual if you bring in philandros. Uh -huh. But imagine God has instructed men to do agape, the sacrificial type. Yeah. The one that is not predicated on any feeling at all. Mm -hmm. You do it dutifully. I think yeah. we said that last time. Yeah. That get into a relationship and be dutiful, then it will become beautiful. You don't mm -hmm. go for beauty, go for duty first. Mm -hmm. Then beauty will follow. Yeah. Okay? So the best place to learn about marriage relationships is the Bible. Mm -hmm. So the church should be the number one teacher mm -hmm. of good marriage relationships and good family values and good family fabric. Oh. Mm -hmm. Institutions of learning are doing a good job by mm -hmm. training your brain and other aspects of your cognitive ability. Yeah. They do a great job, mm -hmm. but the church needs to rise up and start teaching relationships. The trouble with the church is that they also tend to say, concentrate on your faith mm. and stuff like that. Mm. When that time comes, you will just know. No, you won't know. Mm -hmm. You must be taught mm. for you to know. Wow. There is nobody who just decided, when time comes, I'll pass my mathematics. <laughs> for now, yeah. let me just concentrate on the Lord. Mm. Yes, concentrate on the Lord, but study mm. what relationships are as well. Yeah. And by the way, there's so much information online mm. about marriage, relationships. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's so much wonderful material that I read and watch yeah. online. Mm. 
Yeah. That have helped me as well. Information that has helped our marriage. Yeah. So a person that really needs to know, you simply yeah. just get your phone and and do a search. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How to love a woman, how to love a man. You'll get so many results. Yeah. How to have a wonderful marriage, you get so many results. Mm -hmm. Of course, some of it is not going to be helpful because they're not based on any significant standard. Yeah. The things that we should believe as God's children should be based on the standard of the word of God. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Uh -huh. oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We love you all till next time. Goodbye. Bye bye.